Craig Mulligan consistently displayed deeply troubling tendencies towards harming both children and animals. Repeatedly, he issued ominous warnings to his parents about his intentions to harm his half-brother in the future. Unfortunately, his parents dismissed these statements as mere jokes, but tragically, Craig ultimately followed through on his chilling threat. According to accounts from individuals familiar with the family, Craig exhibited a pattern of disruptive behavior from a young age. Initially, his targets were household pets, then the neighbor's children, and eventually, adults. He consistently chose individuals who were either defenseless or weaker than him. Despite the sincere efforts of psychologists, his mother, stepfather, and teachers to instill a moral compass in him, their attempts proved entirely futile. It seemed as though Craig was completely detached from any ethical principles and possessed a pathological compulsion to inflict harm on others. One acquaintance of the family remarked, he radiated anger and took pleasure in instilling fear in other children. He appeared entirely unrestrained by any sense of morality. As Craig grew older, his misconduct took on more disturbing forms, including a disturbing penchant for singing explicit songs in which he openly admitted to finding joy in tormenting children. Mulligan was born into a single parent household. His mother, Rebecca Treadgill, began a relationship with John Cole approximately six months after Craig's birth, and for the next decade, they lived together as a family. However, in 2019, John abruptly left their lives to be with another woman. This departure had a devastating impact on Rebecca's mental health, leading her to make multiple suicide attempts. When authorities became aware of her struggles, legal proceedings ensued, ultimately resulting in the termination of her parental rights. Consequently, Craig, the young boy at the center of this turmoil, was placed under the care of a foster family. The foster family was highly experienced, with nearly five decades of child rearing experience, having nurtured approximately 80 children during that time. At the age of 13, Craig was given a room next to a girl who had been living with the foster family for about six months. Shockingly, on the first night, the teenager secretly approached the girl with a knife, making menacing threats. Fortunately, the girl managed to call for help and escape the dangerous situation. Facing Craig's uncontrollable aggression, the foster family became overwhelmed. Their breaking point came when they discovered sharp and dangerous objects hidden under their pillows by the troubled teenager. They urgently appealed to social services to remove this tumultuous presence from their home. There was a prevailing reluctance to take on the responsibility of caring for the young boy. Craig Mulligan was on the verge of being placed in an orphanage when an unexpected twist of fate brought John Cole into the picture. John had been Craig's stepfather for nearly a decade and expressed his willingness to provide for and nurture his stepson. On July 26, 2021, custody of the boy was officially entrusted to John. Living with John was his common-law wife, Ankarad Williamson, along with her five-year-old son, Logan, and their eight-month-old child. However, right from the beginning, Craig held a strong aversion towards his half-brother. Ankarad Williamson remembers, he frequently voiced his intense dislike for Logan and even made disturbing statements about harming him. Strangely, he often delivered these remarks with an unsettling smile, making it difficult to determine whether he was serious or not. Tragically, Craig acted on his ominous threat just five days after moving in with John and Ankarad. It's crucial to acknowledge that John Cole did not fulfill the role of a responsible and caring father. It later came to light that he had been subjecting Ankarad, the mother of his child, to frequent physical abuse. Unfortunately, Ankara chose not to report these incidents to the authorities. As a result, Craig unwittingly became a witness to one such violent episode. This distressing encounter may have acted as a catalyst for the heinous crime he would later commit. During the night between July 31 and August 1, 2021, Craig Mulligan surreptitiously entered his brother's room 
and tragically ended the young boy's life. He then woke John and disclosed the gruesome incident. John's subsequent actions are difficult to comprehend. Instead of seeking legal intervention, he made the ill-fated decision to conceal the crime. Perhaps he had doubts that anyone would believe their account, and he feared being implicated in this dreadful act. Regardless of his motives, he managed to persuade even Ankarad that covering up her son's death was the preferable course of action, asserting that it would be in the best interest of everyone involved. Together, John and Cray placed Logan's lifeless body into a bag and disposed of it in the Sarn River in Bridgen County, a disturbing act that would have profound consequences. Had it not been for the watchful eye of a CCTV camera capturing their movements as they transported a bag to the river, establishing their connection to the crime might have been considerably more challenging. Afterward, they returned home and meticulously engaged in a general cleaning operation to remove any conceivable traces of their actions. The most perplexing aspect of this tragic incident is the involvement of the murdered boy's mother in these disturbing events. The following morning, Ankara had reported her five-year-old son's disappearance to the police, and both she and Craig and John actively participated in the search efforts. They convincingly displayed grief-stricken expressions, making it challenging for anyone to suspect their involvement. However, when Logan's lifeless body was discovered, the parents' and half-brothers' culpability in his murder became undeniably clear. Faced with overwhelming evidence against them, family members began to accuse each other. Craig pointed the finger at John, labeling him as the primary organizer and instigator while John shifted responsibility onto his stepson, claiming that his role was merely to cover up the tracks. Ankarad distanced herself from the murder entirely, placing the blame squarely on Cole and Mulligan. The trial wasted no time in commencing, and all three individuals involved, Craig Mulligan, John Cole, and Ankarad Williamson, were subsequently sentenced to life in prison. We have found all three parties guilty of participating in a reprehensible plot to conceal evidence, making them equally culpable, declared the prosecuting attorney. The most heart-wrenching moment occurred when Ben Wangi, Logan's biological father, addressed the court. Just a few days before Logan's tragic death, Anchor had blocked my number. For the past five years, I struggled to maintain contact with Logan. She made my life an absolute ordeal. All I ever wanted was to be a father. Logan will forever reside in my heart. I cherished him deeply, and now I must forge ahead in life, knowing that I will never have the privilege of witnessing his growth into the remarkable man I believe he could have become.